pokey peeps, so today I just wanted to play a little bit of Overused, just play around with one of my favourite teams, and yeah, so I'll be back when I find a game. Alright, so we're back, and I'm pretty comfortable to lead with my Thunderous here. Not quite happy to see this, but that's okay, we'll just Volt Switch into... Um, we'll go Heatran, um, probably going for like a Stealth Rock, some Leech Seed, something like that, um, maybe a Knock Off, no, we'll go for the Spikes, that's fine, I've got three out of my six that are levitating, so we've got a pretty okay spot here, now I'm feeling like either his Heatran, or the um, Gliscor of Garchomp come in. So I am just going to go for a Lava Plume. Alright, so he's doing a bit of like predict work, see what's going to happen. So I can then go for the Earth Power now, realizing that he's probably going to switch into the Heatran, I would assume. Oh, zero. Probably would have been fine to go for the. Um, the lava plume on the last turn, but let's hopefully get the burn. We didn't, so that's a Z belly drum there. Um, hmm. Okay, so we're in a bit of a rough spot here. Go for lava plume again, that's gonna take us out. Um, yeah, he's got his spikes up. I can probably go Gyarados here. And go for a supersonic. Yeah. So that was pretty much all we could do there to shut that one down. Pretty obvious the Coco coming in now. I'm okay with that. Um, is he going to over predict and go for a going to thunderous? Yeah, so he, he did predict, but that's fine because, yeah, he didn't do much. Probably the yeah, Ferrothorn came back in. Oh no, he wanted to heal me up. Much appreciated. Um, oh, and he quit. Okay, so I personally think that he was in a much better spot than me. Um, yeah, he was just... Having a Ferrothorn on your team is just such an easy wall. It can come in on anything bar fire moves and just sit there, be fat. Um, I'll be back when I find another game, guys. Okay, so that was quick. Um, again, liking this, not too scared of anything, but I do want to get my rocks up just to break the multi-scale of the uh, um, Dragonite there. So I'm just going to go for the uh, rocks. He forgets that I'm a um, uh, balloon. I go for a toxic now. So now he's got his toxic. And then I go for a lava pit. He's probably thick fat. Most variants are these days. Um, this is Okay, it'll do a fair bit. Get the bird. What percentage is it? It's 30%. Okay. Um. Oh. Wanna skip? But to who is the question? I don't really see you having too much to do in this game. Um. Oh yeah, so he goes for Water Shuriken, trying to get into the Battle Bomb form, I think that's what happens now. No, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go for an Icy Wind. Garrett is coming in, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. So, Icy Wind, speeds down, Will-O-Wisp now. And... Yeah, um, 
not too worried. Um, I can go for an earthquake now to just whittle him down a little bit more. He's just going to keep going for. Um, what are those attacks? Definitely not, actually. Go for content skin, like now. Plus one speed, I'm pretty sure Lando is still going to like speed. Um, so I can just go for a U turn here. Take that out! Now. Sorry if I sound a bit sick guys, I am. Just got a little bit of a runny nose. Nothing to worry about though. Now what's he gonna do? Check this on, just make sure he realizes he's still playing. Okay. So I can just go for a vault switch here, it goes for the ice beam. I'm okay with that. I didn't really have anything I needed. Um, well, besides maybe a hidden power eye somewhere, but that's fine. So we go for a U-turn now, that'll get the kill. Now, I'm going to swap into Gyarados. He'll probably go into his, um, Dragonite. That's at least what I would do. Or Superior. Yeah. So then we just go for the Supersonic on that. Uh, it'll not kill, this will kill, and then he goes into Garrido, oh sorry, um, Dragonite, or potentially Lucario, yeah. so I'm going to go for a bounce here now as well, it, it works, because I'm up in the sky, he goes for the Ice Punch, not a douche yet. Uh finish off with the bounce, that'll do a fair bit, get the Paralysis, and get the full power, so very lucky on my end, but that's the game. Um, last night I got flinched out, eight flinches in a row, but you know, it's just the game, you gotta live with it. He's pretty free to go for an ice shard now, but that won't kill. Um, but he was opting for a different move, I don't know why. Um, <clears throat> Now, the only thing that's scary is if this is like an agility set, um, but it was a very slow set. God, not even my Garrido should be outspeeding a Lucario at any point. I think we've got time for another game, so I'll be back when I find it. Okay guys, we're back, and sort of a yuck team to come up again. I'm going to lead with Thunderous because he doesn't have any electric immunities. He's going to lead with Torn, probably going for like a Tailwind or a knockoff. I'm chill with that. Um, and we take out one of his main pivotal Pokemon there. Obviously with the Regenerator, Regenerator ability, which is always a pain to deal with. Now the Bulu coming in, I'm going to go for a Hidden Power Ice, I'm hoping he goes for the KO on me, he does, not quite going to get it, um, basically I just need to stay at a high enough bit of, uh, so I keep him at a low enough bit of health, that's perfect, because now I send in my Katana, I go for the Sacred Sword because I, he's obvious that he has to switch. If he doesn't switch, he dies. Um, and that's his only thing of... Ooh. Okay. I see what you're doing there. I'm going to go for a Smart Strike now. Get the KO anyway. I've still got my Focus Sash up, so... I'm okay with that. Sacred Sword coming in. He's Scarfed with Hidden Power Fire. That's fine. This will get a KO there. And he's going to quit. So, I don't entirely agree with how he played that. I think it was a little bit premature to go for 
um, any sort of protect, I would have switched straight into my Skeptile. But anyway, we've got another game here. Again, leading with Thunderous. The only immunity he's got is that Glyph score, which I outspeed. So I can go for my cheeky little um, Volt Switch. If he wants to go into it, that's great because now, now we've got some mind games. Oh no, he's already got it. So I can go for the hidden power, that'll get the KO. Now he has zero immunity to electric. Greninja comes in, going for a ice beam. Oh, what a hydro pump! Oh, I could live that. Um I go for an icy wind here. Whatever's coming in, isn't really going to appreciate it. I hope that Kart Kartana comes in, um, because that's usually a fairly good wall. Or the Victini, so Scarf Victini here. Um, I'm going to go for an Earthquake now, so he obviously is Scarf. That just shows us that even though he's on a weaker platform, and it might be a Scarf Greninja after seeing... His choice of move, uh, move there. I know, that is on. Yeah, it still could be Scarf. So I'll go for Landris now. And I'll go for my U turn. It'll still do a fair bit of damage. Definitely do a fair bit of damage to you. And I'll send in my Gyarados here. And go for the Z Supersonic, which should still get the KO. Yeah, so all of his mods just fallen at the moment. Feeling like he's gonna go for like a boltish. Yeah, perfect. Heal me up. He's gonna switch now because he ain't gonna stay in healing me up. So I go for my bolt switch straight into my Kartana. And I'm going for a Leaf Blade here. We'll get the kill. The Victini comes in. We go for a knockoff. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with how this is going to work out. What's coming in? Kartana. So he loses his. No, he, so he's uh, Bloom Doom. Uh, that's unfortunate that he gets the outspeed there. Again, all part of the game though. We send in Landris. We go for our own. Actually, Earthquake should KO here. Well, it doesn't. He gets the knockoff off. Again, it's fine. We go for an Earthquake again. He goes for Leaf Blade. Fine. Um, could be a bit of a uh, bad position here. Go Pat Hana. Go for Volt Switch. Go. I can go into Heatran here. And I'm going to set up the rock straight away. He's breaking that, which is fine. Rocks are up, so Kartana goes down now when he comes in. Um, and now we just go for an Earth Power. He's going for the flinches, which is fine, but I think he's just going the game a little bit. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I can leave a move. No, not a hydro pump, but it's never going to happen. But, um, yeah, Gyarados can come in here. Go for an earthquake. He misses. Doesn't KO, but the next move will. Um, so yeah, good game there. Oh, that did fifty percent. So he he could have potentially won that game if he had hit the two. Some pretty good games there. Got to show off a bit of my favourites overused team. As you can see, it has some pretty good synergy in there. I know it sounds silly, but Mew really is a bit of a death order. I bring it in when I don't have something to go in for. Go for a Icy Wind, regardless of what's in there. It's going to slow it down. And then I'm free to usually go for either a Will-O-Wisp or an Earthquake. 
bit of a pivotal Pokemon in my opinion. But yeah, so that's how I run this team. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, it really does help me out. Let's me know what you guys enjoy and let's me know what to do in the future. As always, bye!